A few years ago, I did a series on my YouTube channel of interesting facts from every episode of The Office from every season. And ever since then, I've been wanting to do this to other shows that I love. And after a two year break, I thought, what the hell, let's do this again. So the show I'm doing interesting facts on every episode from every season now is... Married with Children. Married with Children is a sitcom that follows the Bundy family. No relation to Ted Bundy. Better, but still horrible. Married with Children ran on the Fox Network for 10 years between 1987 to 1997 for a grand total of 11 seasons. Like my Office series, every fact I'll be getting from every episode comes from the wiki page itself. So this might not be 100% accurate, but let's just hope. So today, let's take a look at interesting facts from every episode from Married with Children's third season. The actor who played young Al and he thought he could, Eden Gross, played Carl in last season You Better Watch Out. In I'm Going to Sweatland, Peggy sees Elvis and Al sweat stain. Peggy actress Katie Seagal met Elvis when her father, Boris Seagal, directed Elvis' movie, Girl Happy. Poke High's storyline of Bud tutoring the dumb athlete that Kelly has a crush on but she ends up ending his football career was reused in Season 8's Al Goes Deep where Bud tutors the quarterback of Tremaine and he gets injured by a cursed stuffed animal thanks to Kelly. Al ends up playing for him and saves his football career. At one point in the camping show, Steve says animals can sense when women are menstruating. Co-creator of the series, Michael G. Moy, suggested this be put in the episode to the episode's writers after doing an episode of his other show, Silver Spoons. In the episode, I'm Just Wild About Harry from that show, it included an orangutan. While making that particular episode, the orangutan was distracted. The trainer then told everyone that it was believed that animals can sense when women menstruate. And the fact that the orangutan was distracted, it was believed that some women on that set were. In a dump of my own, Bud asks if anyone's seen his skateboard, and Peggy implies that she sold it for a lot of money. However, his skateboard reappears two episodes later in The Bald and the Beautiful, and would reappear a few more times before being gone forever after My Mom the Mom. Two Playboy models appear in her cups runneth over. Original Hooters model, slash Playboy Playmate of the Month for July 1986, Lynn Austin, was the blonde that Al talks to to find Peggy's bra size. While Playboy Playmate for June 1985, Devin DeVasquez, played the girl that exposed her breast to Al in the bra shop. In The Bald and the Beautiful, Al mentions that he misses playing pool. He must have went back to playing pool because in the following season's Christmas episode is a Bundy for Life Part 1. Peggy mentions that Al missed Christmas the previous year because he was playing pool. The actor who plays the character that returns Al's wallet to Peggy in The Gypsy Cried, Fred, Steve Bean, would reappear four seasons later in Mr. Empty Pants as the Playboy photographer Steve. In Requiem for a Dead Barber, Al mentions that he hates how video arcades are taking over old Nickelodeons. Al actor Ed O'Neill voiced Mr. Letwack. Owner of the video arcade Fix-It Felix is located in, in Pixar's Wreck-It Ralph. I'll See You in Court did not air until June 18th, 2002. This is because of the Ricalta boycott. During the third season's airing, housewife Terry Ricalta protested against Married with Children after seeing her cups runneth over. The protest, which originally tried to get the show cancelled, was so big and with the show being under fire, it was thought that this episode's subject matter was not too suitable to be shown, so they pulled it from the schedule. The photo girl in the restaurant the Bundys eat at and eaten out is March 1984 Playboy Playmate Donna Spear. The actress who plays Becky in My Mom the Mom, Julie Condra, would reappear five seasons later in Valentine's Day Massacre as Crystal Brooks. In Can't Dance, Don't Ask Me, Kelly is not interested in dance. In real life, Kelly actress Christina Applegate has an extensive dance background. She was an original member of the Pussycat Dolls Female Dance Ensemble and was also a guest judge on Fox's So You Think You Can Dance. The actor who plays Shep, one of the Burger Check employees in A Three Job No Income Family, Christian Jacobs would become the rock band The Aquabats as vocalist. In The Harder They Fall, Al steals the Rhodes' VCR after the Bundys, originally invited her by Steve in order to avoid a fight, gets kicked out of their house so Steve and Marcy can go have sex. Two seasons later, in Kids What Are You Gonna Do, Al, in order to avoid having sex with Peggy, goes over to Marcy and Jefferson's house and brings Marcy's VCR back. In the house that Peg lost, Al tells Steve that his and Marcy's house is now a chicken restaurant in Waukegan. Waukegan is a real industrial suburb in Chicago, 24 miles north of the city limits. The two-parter Married with Queen had differences between the original draft and what became the final product. The differences in part one are... 
Al still thinks about not clearing the two inches that cost him the bet. The phone company personally delivering Peggy the $2,000 bill, and Connie's name was originally Nancy. The differences in Married with Prom Queen the sequel are... After insulting Milton, a whole bunch of jocks sit with Al, and the wives of those jocks instruct them to say that they're garbage men when Al asks them what they do now. Peggy telling two men that she no longer does a sexual act, and then walking away is not in the script. Instead, the scene begins with Peggy calling out to Thelma McKechnie and her table, who are all upset with her for stealing their boyfriends and one of their fathers. After Bud and Kelly say random things to the redheaded lady, they sit down, Bud tells her to shut up, for which she tells him it's your thing. Instead of standing behind Al while Sable, the attractive blonde's breasts are in his face, Peggy is sitting in a chair with her face resting in her hands. Al's reasoning for choosing Peggy over playing for the Chicago Bears is different than the original script. In the original script, he says, Well, you know, the human body can only endure so much, so I had to decide. Do I risk life and limb for money, or do I do it for love? Before the senior class, President Tim says that people are anxious to find out who King and Queen are, he suggests that everyone take one of his business cards. There was a scene where Kelly and Bud insult Tim. After which, he jumps up on stage and says, Yes, that was the why. Paul Kaiser answered to the Beatles with their ever-stirring rendition of I'm Black and I'm Proud. Now don't forget, folks. Get those votes in for Reunion Queen. We tally them in five minutes. In the original script, Al telling Peggy that she ruins a good time like on her wedding night didn't even exist. Instead, it just goes to Peggy letting Al fight Jack after Jack makes chicken noises at him. In the original script, when Kelly opens the ballot box and she says Viola, Bud corrects her and he says it's voila. In the original script, Kelly says it was Viola in the 60s instead of the episodes, it's because I failed Spanish class. There was more to the ballot box scene. Peggy, while sorting through the votes, sees that her friend Vicky lied and voted for Connie, says that Connie could have won with four votes, then removes with multiple votes so that Connie loses in a landslide. In The Dateless Amigo, the actress who plays Lisa, Heather Hopper, appeared on the precursor to Save by the Bell, Good Morning Miss Bliss. The actress who plays Caroline, Christy Taylor, appeared on the Save by the Bell spinoff, Save by the Bell, The New Class. Heather Hopper's Good Morning Miss Bliss and Beverly Hills 90210 co-star Tiffany Amber Thiessen would later appear on Married with Children as Heather McCoy in Season 4's What Goes Around Came Around. In the computer show, when Al trains Buck to bring him his slippers, Buck brings him a bra. Al thinks about wearing it the next time they go to the beach. The Bundys will go to the beach in the very next episode. Kelly's line of hoping that it's a G-spot while Peggy looks in Steve's envelope for money and lives at beach was cut for syndication. It is, however, intact in the Season 3 DVD and on Hulu. The Season 3 finale, Here's Looking at You, Kid, was very unique. Whereas most shows' season finales air in May, Married with Children's third season finale aired in late August, a few days shy of the fourth season premiere.